Okay. Um, when you're when, when you're um when when you're um shadow boxing with the weapons, okay. I want you to take close consideration of the position of your grip as you work your swing. At the same time, your body's also going to be rocking when it's distributing power. And it's going from here. You want good attention from head to toe. You know, um, where, you, where you feel the weight in your quadriceps as it's pressing down, the, t um, the feel of your toes, I mean, still, still holding some weight back here mm -hmm. as you're leaning forward and you're moving. So, I mean, this could be into the six count position. See, when I work the Carenza, that's, that's the term for shadow boxing or, you know, working your forms. Right. I mean, you, you definitely want to focus all on position. You're, you're hitting the air. So, um, you can work on, you, you can work most on focusing, getting the position in. Remember, this, remember this is a blade-oriented style. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you want that, you want that full aim, that, that cut, that cut, that little, that little um, hit and retract. So I'm still I'm still working on the position of of the of the six count here. We're working here, so it's straight out, straight out. You want to be aware of uh, of the of the uh, puño end in your stick and the point in your stick to where exactly where it's positioned, exactly where you're aiming it. See, it's one thing to know to how to swing the stick. At the same time, it's important to be accurate with it. Here. And it's just like holding, it's just like, it, like you're handling a pair of blades. And as fast as you're moving, then you want to be, I mean, you want to be completely aware because you don't want to cut yourself. Even when you sit, sometimes you might find yourself, you know, having to, it's like, whoa, I don't want to, yeah, it just goes. So it would be the same thing if I had. This bolo here. What? See, I could be moving. The dagger here, and I still gotta be aware where my right is, where this left is, where this is coming in. One, whoa! I gotta move. So, remember, this this is a this will be practice the literal extension of our body because um, it could be. It can be where, if we're aware of the tip of our finger as we point it, right. we treat it the same way. Hmm. At the same time, I'm not cutting myself. See? Yes, so, work your aim when you're. Swing them in the air. We gotta gauge the distance of our sticks. So we're chambering to the right. One. Uh, we're watching that form. We know exactly where our sticks are gonna crash. Because it doesn't really count when you're just swinging your complete form. Mm -hmm. You want full awareness so that way you can prevent some accidents from happening. It's a respect to your own body. As well as your partner, you come in the end of the field, but just barely. Because when it starts moving this way, and you're just moving it, it's called fairy wandering. Fairy wandering. So you cut that through. Okay.